Hi you guys, Laura here. Thank you for tuning in. Chances are if you're watching this video, it's because you are about to start radiation treatment or have recently gone through radiation treatment and have a couple of questions about life after. In particular, understanding the terms of not just radiation, but what is radiation boost or a boost of radiation? Well, we'll get into that. But before we do, I want to make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and a like and be sure to subscribe so you get notified each time we come out with a new video. I had 32 rounds of radiation treatment and radiation is a Monday through Friday event, for lack of a better term. And I went for six weeks straight. The first five weeks were just normal radiation and it was in that last week that I had a radiation boost. My goal is to provide you with as much information as possible so that we can thrive as a breast cancer community. But if you're going through radiation treatment right now or your boost radiation, what side effects are you experiencing? What are you doing to mitigate those side effects? Are there special creams or lotions that you're using? Do you have a favorite brand that you're using? Post in the comments below and let us know so we can all learn from each other. So I'm really excited because I got an opportunity to chat with Dr. Rachel Jimenez. She is a wonderful woman, and I'm so thrilled that I was able to speak with her on our podcast coming out on Monday. She is an assistant professor from the Harvard School of Medicine and also currently works in radiation oncology at Mass General Hospital. I want to thank you, all of our community members who shared your questions in advance and give you a sneak peek of our episode and answer your burning question of what is a radiation boost. So a boost is the idea of giving a little bit more radiation to a more limited part of your body. So often when we do a boost in breast cancer, because it can be used in lots of different cancer types, okay. um, we are talking about, you know, we've treated the entire breast for a certain number of weeks, and then we give a boost, which is just an extra amount of radiation just to the lumpectomy cavity where the surgery was. So that's the idea of essentially consolidating mm -hmm. and giving a little more radiation dose to the area that we think is at highest risk to have a recurrence. So the most likely place to have a recurrence is right where the cancer starts, so we give that a little bit more radiation. If you want to hear the full conversation where we answer a lot more of your questions, be sure to subscribe to our mailing list and you will receive an email from me on Monday when our podcast releases. We not only talk about radiation and what to expect with treatment, but we will define terms and explore the advances of breast cancer and clinical trials and the use of proton beam radiation. Give this video a thumbs up if you found the content valuable and we'll see you in the next episode.